What's up guys, it's finally here and it's gonna change everything. We're talking about the Starlink Ethernet adapter. We finally got this bad boy in the mail. We're gonna put it to the test and we're gonna see if it really does provide lower latency and a more stable connection. So y'all stick around and find out. What is it? Starlink Ethernet adapter is gonna allow you to hardwire your existing network, your router, computer, switches, however you got your network set up, this adapter is going to allow you to connect directly to your Starlink. There's even a bypass mode that's built into your Starlink Wi-Fi router that you can enable that will bypass the Wi-Fi functionality altogether. We're going to unbox it. Inside, you have just a cable. No wrapping, no packaging, anything. It's just simple. I like easy. Yep. That's what it looks like that way. That's what it looks like on the other side and that's the connection. And then it comes with your instruction card. On the bottom of the router, you've got the cable that goes to your antenna. The power is the bigger one. So we're gonna unplug the antenna like that. We're gonna take the connector for the ethernet adapter. We're gonna plug that into the same hole. Make sure you don't break anything, just kind of wiggle it into place. That's nice and firm. Then we're gonna plug the antenna and the other side of the ethernet adapter. Just like that. That's what it looks like. All right, you got your RJ45 port and you got your network cable and you're just gonna plug that bad boy right on in. You hear that little click and that's it. We've got our ethernet cable plugged into the laptop. We're gonna run a couple of speed tests, but first we're gonna make sure it's actually connected to the hard wire. Looks like our ethernet's there. That's our Wi-Fi. We're gonna go ahead and disable that. First speed test guys, we got 37 latency on the ping, 181.33 down and 11.48 up, not bad. Let's try it again. Thirty-one latency, one seventy-five, twenty-seven up this time, guys. Not bad. This is what the DHCP looks like for the router. Quick ping test against Google's DNS server. Sorry, I know it's probably hard to read, guys. High so far is fifty-two milliseconds. That's not bad at all, guys. Guys, that was easy. It was super simple to set up, as you saw much better connection. We're really excited once we get the mount that we're looking for. We're gonna be able to hardwire this bad boy, put it in bypass mode, and we're gonna rock and roll. If you guys would follow our channel, we would greatly appreciate it. We're gonna do some more update videos on Starlink. We're gonna let you guys know how it works for us, what does work, what doesn't work. Y'all stick around. We'll see you on the next video. God, God bless. bless.